I just finished watching Ed's video this morning on the way to work and I watched the whole thing. There was a lot of confusion, a lot of people trying to work out exactly what is happening. This guy's always hitting 63 milliseconds. He's always hitting blah, blah, blah. His unstable rate is insane. What is going on with this dude? I myself, when I started following along with this whole drama, I was convinced the guy was cheating because I'm like, there's absolutely zero way that you can do this unless you're a robot. Except there is, because even after watching this video, I was clarified with a friend about what was actually happening. And maybe I'm just stupid because I was listening to it in the car on the way to work and I didn't understand, but I'm going to try and clarify this up. So on his utility software, he had used DKS, Dynamic Keystroke. Now, if you've watched uh, the video that I edited for Ed where uh, we're talking about wooting, you can see that Dynamic Keystroke, you can actually set various points within the key to set multiple inputs. And according to the fair play on the Osu wiki, I believe, uh, Playfair using third party utilities of any kind to get any sort of advantage is not okay. Now that is a huge statement. And this is where the crux of the, the whole video is. Uh, this includes things like macro programs, okay? Aim assist programs, timescale modification, and so on. If the program is doing something to help you play the game that you should be doing yourself, it isn't okay. All right, so that's a lot. Okay, so let's break this down. Dynamic keystroke would be the idea that you're using a key to set multiple inputs. It's almost as if you had a normal key that wasn't a whole effect and you had multiple switch points within that key. That, not allowed. Okay, so you're not allowed to have one key making multiple inputs in the game. And I think Cloudiful is kind of clever. I don't think the guy should be banned. And I don't think the guy should be hiding either. I think he should be standing tall and proud and saying, well, if you're gonna change the rules because of me, that's fine, That do that. But you can't punish somebody because you don't think what they were doing was unfair before you've changed the rules. I would absolutely agree that using one key to set multiple inputs is a big no-no. However, the guy only had one input per key that he was using. If you have an X and Z key, which you normally use to play Osu, the Z key is your normal input and the X key only actuates once you lift the key up. So by doing so, if you double tap with the right time, the right metronome, so basically hitting every half note, you will tap and then as you release your double tap, you are then going to actuate again. Now, this is where the whole thing happened, where he was able to achieve un inhuman accuracy because of the fact that he's just double tapping and creating a downstroke and an upstroke using, again, two separate keys with one input per key, just in a kind of clever way. So I do actually somewhat agree with Wooting's tweet where they said that it's not really cheating. Do I think it's fair? No. And I think the rules need to be changed. I think Osu definitely needs to clap back and change the way that uh, they clarify this because this whole fair play thing here, that's what's really got me in a twist. If you're using a third party utilities, such as the Wootility software, which is literally called Wootility, play on the word utility, to gain any sort of advantage, i.e. rapid trigger is an advantage to non-rapid trigger, why is that line allowed to be crossed? But then when you decide to use those exact same keys and software for a different function that isn't breaking any guidelines, such as using two strokes on one key, then that's suddenly a problem. I feel that the guidelines in terms of what constitutes cheating in this case need to change that only a downstroke can be considered an input. Because if you're going to just start like arbitrarily making up things like you can't use an upstroke or you can't use a tablet, then all of a sudden all we're going to have all these different cheaters who have just been using different play styles and using their hardware in the way that it was intended to be made. So it's not like he's using any third party software that's supposed to be assisting him in game. He's just using the keyboard that the guy bought. And I think the fact that he's kind of gone and deleted everything and everybody's witch hunting this dude is like crazy to me. Um, discussion thread on DKS and where we should draw the line with cheating. I, for the most part, agree with this post. I'm also not an expert, nor do I fully understand it, what I'm talking about here. Um, the way that he cheated was using a feature on the Wooting called Dynamic Keystroke. This feature was able to set the key press with a non-dominant finger to actuate on the upstroke. By tapping both keys at once, instead of two inputs occurring at the same time, one would occur when pressed down and the other when he lifts up. This way, he was able to play high BPM streams with good accuracy by effectively just double tapping, leading to many high PP plays, including a 2000 PP choke and number three on the leaderboards.
it's obviously an OP strategy, but man, props to you for figuring that out, Cloudful. That's pretty crazy. From what others can tell, I, he would toggle these settings only when he was to play a stream and the rest of the map fully legitimately. I'm guessing he would have toggled this setting off and on with a keyboard shortcut or the pedal scene below his desk in the live play. Wow. Now that is commitment. To be honest, I think it's too bothersome for me. I, I, I much just prefer to just play the game normally, but you know, hey, props to you, man. Commitment. The, the reason that this guy's making this thread and the same reason I'm making this video is because the line is very blurred when it becomes when it comes to cheating and uh, Cloudful didn't utilize any unnecessary software in order to cheat, nor did he use a macro or multiple actions on one keystroke. He simply used a setting which came packaged with the keyboard he had, a keyboard which many players have, including top players, as well as a technique that is considered fair game if you ignore the keyboard settings. Yeah, double set tapping is not considered cheating. However, it is clear that the community response as well as the action of the OSU team that this method is considered cheating and a bannable offense. Now, this is where I'm going to add my own little commentary. I think that is absolutely pathetic. I think the fact that you get banned for something that wasn't specifically outlined is a problem. I will say Cloudful did know they were being a little bit cheeky with the way that they, you know, changed the settings and didn't exactly show exactly what's going on in the live play. But just because you feel like something isn't allowed or feel like it's bad doesn't mean that it's been outlined by OSU staff or by the game in general. And if you're going to take advantage of something like this and it actually hasn't been outlined in any which way, I feel that like, yeah, sure, you can ban people who have done that after the fact, but that is your bad for not keeping up with the technology that's in the space. The game needs to be constantly looking out for these new innovations in order to make sure that those things aren't happening. The first thing that Qantas Frequent Flyer wanted to discuss in this is exactly what constitutes cheating and not cheating. What is it about Cloudfall's method that makes it cheating compared to rake tapping, which you're allowed multiple to submit plays with? Uh, rake tapping is uh, basically strumming your keyboard. Um, and also rapid trigger or wooting software, which is widely accepted as the next evolution of the game. Even though Cloudfall's method is just a slightly unconventional application of these things, should Cloudfall's method even be considered cheating in the first place? All of the things that he's done are not considered cheating when isolated from each other. It, the only new thing that's being introduced here is the idea of an upstroke, which has never been considered before because it wasn't even possible before. The next thing I wanted to discuss here was where we should draw the line specifically. Perhaps say that we're not allowed to have one key bound to an upstroke while another is bound to a downstroke. Or maybe we should make it that any input which doesn't come from the downstroke of a key is illegitimate. Or maybe the issue is not the settings themselves, but the act of toggling them mid-map. Or maybe something else. I think this is useful to discuss and we can draw clean... I think this is useful to discuss and we can discuss how to draw clear lines in the future. This post is so well put together and it basically encapsulates all of my thoughts, which is why I'm going over it in detail. But again, 100% agree. I personally think the solution is that like you just no upstrokes full stop. There's no reason that we need to change this in the game. I think like using upstroke as an input method is something that can only lead to people abusing their hardware to create and completely unfair advantage. There is a commentary that exists within the rapid trigger space of like, well, any rapid trigger keyboard automatically gives you that exact same advantage. As a matter of fact, learning to double tap might be harder than learning to just use rapid trigger in the first place. I really don't know what the solution is here. I think rapid trigger has been so widely accepted as just like a cool feature that maybe that's where we have to draw the line and say rapid trigger is cool, but dynamic keystroke and those kind of features aren't. But man, it's going to be a bumpy ride from here on out. I think the real issue is that if what Cloudful did was literally just changing the wording settings, there are likely to be other people who have played around with this method and even submitted plays with it. Another thing is that even though it is clear that Cloudful himself viewed this as cheating, other players using this method might stumble upon it thinking it's just a creative way to use the wording keyboard without actually intending to cheat. This is a view which wording holds themselves to from this tweet. They posted in response to the cheating case. As technology and OSU itself continues to evolve, we are sure to encounter more of these cases where the lines between cheating and advancement are blurred. Although in this case, it feels pretty cut and dry that Cloudful was cheating, future cases may not be. I hope this discussion can prepare us for these future cases. I give that an upvote. This is such a great post. Um, man, it's just such a mess. Even though I think that wording should definitely stay out of it and just continue i agree with what ed said like i think they don't know enough about the game 
and they should be just focusing on what they do best, which is making fantastic tech. This is, they are correct. There is no, not more than one action on one button and it's not automation. From what I see, his keyboard only actuates after a key release, so it doesn't activate until he releases. It can continue. It continues. It continues to stay active until completely released. Nice try. Uh, how is this different from pressing a normal key, except that the behavior is in reverse? You need to let go to release and press to deactivate. Look, basically to wrap up the video, I think that Cloudful can't be considered cheating because of the fact that there was no guidelines about it, even though he felt bad about it and felt that it might be wrong, just because he feels that way does not mean it was outlined. And ultimately we as people, not just as players, but as people are responsible for feeling those feelings and understanding that there's probably a reason we're feeling that. I can't fault a guy for just playing around with the settings and then stumbling across a game breaking method because that's what the original founding of Rapid Trigger was. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think he was cheating? Do you guys think he was just lucky to find this method and make it popular. Do you think he should be banned? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear them. I hope that uh, uh, you guys don't mind this style of video. Maybe I'll do it more. I don't know. Let me know. Do you like seeing me talk? I don't know. I'm not, I don't do this very often. Anyway.